Continuing in the history of wacky and over-the-top Halloween updates, Valve outdoes themselves again this year. The Halloween update has gone live, so Team Fortress 2 is in Halloween mode once again this year. This means a couple things. Firstly, all Halloween restricted cosmetics are now wearable. Secondly, Halloween gift boxes drop again. Remember, the maps with gifts are Manor Event, Viaduct Event, Lakeside Event, and Hightower Event. Players can collect paper bags from Manor, costumes from Viaduct, potions and souls from Lakeside, and cosmetic and spellbook pages from Hightower. For more information, consult the wiki. One important thing to note for players who are looking to farm gifts, they only show up on registered servers who have 10 players or more. For maximum yield, 11 or 12 player servers is recommended. The new Halloweenified map for this year's update is Payload Race Hightower. Besides the cosmetic stuff, similar to last year, the map underwent many gameplay changing modifications. The most notable changes are the new spawn exits that lead to shallow pools of water and the modified uphill section of the payload tracks. Near the end of the two tracks, there formerly were two areas where the payload cart would slide backwards if unattended. This has been removed, alleviating most of the stalemate problems that plagued Hightower. This year saw the introduction of interesting new gimmicks. On Hightower Vent, the payload cart, as well as dead players, will drop spells. These spells can be picked up by players who have one of three possible action slot items equipped. Once picked up, players will be granted a random common special effect. These effects are triggered by pushing the action key. Most are three uses only. Once activated, the player will cast a spell. These spells range from shooting a fireball, to becoming briefly invisible, to summoning a small skeleton army. A full list of effects can be found on the wiki. Alongside these common spells are rare spells. Rare spells can only be obtained in two ways. One, in hell, and two, by going through the portal on the far off area over the gorge. Backing up for a moment, there are two other noteworthy aspects of Hightower event the far-off platform with the clock over it. Every five minutes, the map will enter the Witching Hour. When this happens, two platforms leading to the far-off area materialize, and the portal on the far-off area opens. A few green skeletons are also summoned. Skeletons act as melee-ranged NPCs and attempt to kill players. As stated before, when a player enters the portal, they receive a rare spell. Hell is the other area mentioned. At the end of the round, regardless of what side wins, all players will be automatically respawned and transported to Hell. Once there, everyone dances for some reason and then are allowed to move. Scattered around are spells and far off in the distance is a skull with horns. The area with the skull is known as Loot Island. After a few seconds, the gates to Loot Island open. Players that get on the island before the gates are open are killed. The player that gets through the book inside the skull wins the game for their team. Therefore, it doesn't really matter what team pushed the cart and won Hightower. In Hell, if a player is killed, they become a ghost. Ghosts can fly by jumping over and over, and can say boo with primary attack. This year sees the return of the Halloween event crate. This time they're called spooky crates. Unlike most recent seasonal crates, the Spooky Crate has an expiration date. As usual, only the corresponding Spooky Key can open Spooky Crates. When the crate expires, it disappears from everyone's inventory and the Spooky Key becomes a regular key. The Spooky Crate contains every cosmetic item found in this update. Note: Most people will probably never open a Spooky Crate because every item is Halloween slash Full Moon restricted. Other noteworthy things in this update include several hidden animations and new voice lines. See the wiki for a full list. More small miscellaneous changes, including some changes to weapons, were also made. Again, see the wiki for full details. And that's basically everything new in Team Fortress 2. Enjoy the festivities everyone, and thanks for watching. Like, favorite, and subscribe. Au revoir.